What's up, Pathways Church? I'm Nathan Purifoy, your worship pastor, and I'm here with you this week for The Daily Dose. And right now, we are wrapping up the book of Acts. We're actually at the very end of Paul's third missionary journey. And this journey has taken him years to complete. So now at this point, Paul is on a ship and he's being treated like a prisoner and the ship has been in a storm for a few weeks and it wrecks and the all, all 276 passengers of this ship wash up on the shore of an island called Malta. And I'm gonna start here, 28 verse three. Paul gathered a pile of brushwood and as he put it in the fire, a viper driven out by the heat fastened itself on his hand. So he's bitten by a viper. When the islanders saw the snake hanging from his hand, they said to each other, this man must be a murderer. For though he escaped from the sea, the goddess of justice has not allowed him to live. But Paul shook off the snake into the fire and suffered no ill effects. Years ago, I was on a missions trip. I was probably 19 years old and I was in Tijuana, Mexico. And while we were in Tijuana, Mexico, this was the height of this huge drug war involving the police. And we are right in the heart of some of the areas where all of this activity is taking place. And I'm on the roof of a lady's house helping organize the construction of this lady's home. And there's probably 30 people on this work site with me and I'm the one in charge. A 19 year old kid should not have been volunteered to do this, uh, to be in this position. But I was, I was the one that was in charge. I was the one that they thought was responsible enough for this. I was not responsible enough for this. But while I'm up on the roof, only a couple of blocks away, we hear a lot of gunfire. And it's not just one or two shots and then it stops. It's something that is ongoing. I have to get everybody off the roof, down onto the ground, as close to this concrete house as we can get. And I have to stay on the roof looking out to see if I can tell if there's any activity coming close to us. At this point in time, I thought, this seems like the most dangerous place I could be. A lot like Paul on this island. Paul has been listening to God, and he's gone constantly into the most dangerous places he could be. He's put his life at risk over and over and over, and he has volunteered to be here. He has been obedient and listened to God and gone every step of the way, knowing the risk that it involves. But let me tell you something, a lot like the time when I was on that roof in Tijuana, and I was keeping lookout and making sure that my people that I was uh, responsible for were safe, just like Paul on this island who just made sure that everybody from this shipwreck was safe. Even though I was in this dangerous area, that dangerous place that God had us is the safest place I could have been. Anytime that God directs you to go somewhere, even when it feels like he's directing you to go into danger, that's the safest place you can possibly be. I'll see you guys tomorrow on The Daily Dose.